Hey guys, if you have a Ford, um, you may know about this uh, little inertia fuel cutoff switch. And the basic idea is so if you get in a car accident, it'll shut the fuel pump off um, in case there's like an engine fire, it'll stop feeding it more fuel. But in this video, we're gonna see if this is causing a problem uh, with your fuel supply or not. And it's best to test things like this than just guess and hope it you know helps so i got my multimeter here and we hooked it up for you know voltage or ohm readings and a ground and we got the connector for the inertia switch um, back probed and to make sure that those are making good connection we'll just turn it to uh, ohms and you can see we're at zero ohms so the back probes are making good connection with the pins and it's going through but let's go ahead and start the van up and also make sure those back probes are not touching each other or you're gonna blow the fuel pump fuse I guess there are worse things in life than blowing a fuse but now that it's running we'll go ahead and turn it to voltage DC and you can see that we have a 0 0.065 voltage drop. And ideally, you wanna be as close to zero as possible. Um, I'm almost wondering if 0 0.063 or five is a little bit too much. And you can see it's a negative and that's no big deal. Um, if we swap the pins around, it would be a positive. It doesn't really matter which way you put them. But for scientific purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and order a new one of these switches and see if we can lower that voltage drop. Because I did test uh, the voltage drop on the entire circuit and it was a little bit more than 0.2. And I mean, it wasn't like crazy, but um, if we can lower that voltage drop on the fuel pump circuit, that would be the best. Okay, a couple days later, and I got a new one on Amazon. It's not a uh, Ford one. It'll be interesting to see the voltage drop, or if there's any difference at all. Just kind of bend this uh, tab back, pull it out, and we'll plug it into the new one. Got it back probed again, and checking the connection. It's about zero ohms, so we'll turn it to voltage DC. And it should be zero without anything running. And let's go ahead and start the engine. And there we go. We have a slight improvement. We got about a 20 millivolt improvement. So not a huge difference, but this is how you uh, check to see if this uh, little inertia switch is bad or not. And now you know what the voltage drop on a brand new one should be. And you can also check voltage drops on other things. Maybe another video, I'll uh, test the relay and see if there's any difference, maybe even get a new one. So that way you guys know, you know, what a brand new one should look like. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Hope it was helpful and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.